Welcome to Creative Content. My name is Robert Morrison and I'm your host. As you can see I'm outside today and it's a nice day. It's a little windy but uh, I wanted to talk to you today or on today's show I wanted to show you uh, some of the equipment that I use and as you can see I have a DJI um, Osmo Gimp, uh, Mobile and I'm using a Samsung Note 4 from the camera and I'm also using the Sony WA4 uh, wireless microphone and I have attached to the res uh, sending unit I have a Sony stereo lapel mic. These are very easy to hook up um, They'll broadcast a long ways, 164 feet, so the, the manual says, but uh, I, I don't need it for that long because, uh, or that length or that distance, because it's just it's too far away for me. Um, but it's nice that it does that. Now, on the gimbal itself, you'll notice that I have the receiver for the uh, Sony mic. And then I've got a, a TRS uh, hooked into it into the earpiece, and then a TRS hooked into the cell phone. You have to do that because cell phones have a different uh, uh, jack. Um, now I use this quite often. I'll put uh, it on the screen side camera and then I can see what it's what it's filming um, also I'll put it on face tracking so if I want to demonstrate something I can get up I can walk around the room and the camera will follow me I found that if I use a sport mode it's better because uh, it's it's uh, more responsive to my movement um, and it doesn't lose me like the standard mode does. Um, I'm not going to go into too much explanation on the the Osmo Mobile itself because there's lots of videos out there on that. Um, but I find that the sound is really good for these microphones. Um, I just put the one in my pocket and then clip the microphone to my shirt and there I go. And uh, it works very well. Um, one of the things you need to get if you get a, a Osmo Mobile is the base. The base is really important um, because you don't want to lay this thing down because it is sensitive. But um, and also it has a, a quarter-inch uh, threaded part on the bottom for if you want to put it on a tripod. So that would be good too. Now one of the unique things about this. Uh, uh, microphone setup is if you have another person working with you you can plug they can plug an earphone into the receiver and I can plug an earphone into the sending unit and we can talk back and forth or they can tell me what they'd like me to do so if, if you have an actor uh, the producer can tell the person where they want them to go or the director can tell them where they want to go and uh, and their voice doesn't pick up on the on the camera only the actor's voice or the host's voice picks up uh, if I want to switch uh, views on the camera I can use the front camera um, but I like to be able to see, you know, what I'm filming. And when, when I'm on the other side of the camera, it's hard to tell. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you see what I do and what I use. Maybe you get some ideas from it. Maybe you have a better setup. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. And uh, this is Creative Content. I'm Robert Morrison, your host.
and till the next time, thank you for watching.